me Rick. Um, I'm out at an undisclosed area. Got out here real early. I'm like, only person out here for sure. It's very quiet. Um, pretty neat area. Very scenic. Um, so just wanted to touch with you guys. I haven't put anything out in the last couple of weeks because I've been so busy. Um, we did, uh, me, Jimmy, and Bobby uh, drove to Georgia. And uh, sorry if I'm looking around, but you know, just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, drove to Georgia, met up with the Sasquatch and Counter Brigade, um, which was uh, Johnny Two Bears, and uh, some of his team was there. There was Hank and Lloyd, um, pretty fantastic guys all around. I mean, great guys. Um, definitely a brotherhood when we all got together and hung out and stuff like that. Had a great time. Uh, we went to a location up in nor North Georgia called uh, The Happy Place. That's their nickname for it, The Happy Place. And uh, we had a fantastic time. Um, had a few things happen. We had some vocalizations um, that uh, Johnny caught on Parabolic. Um, me and Hank um, heard um, some wood knocks and some chatter. Um, we were sitting in the campsite when there was nobody else there. And it sounded like somebody was talking in the woods. Um, but you couldn't make out what they were saying, but it just sounded like somebody was talking. Um, to the point where I, I literally thought it was the guys coming out of the woods and I stood up and actually was going to walk over and greet them as they came out of the woods, but uh, there was nobody there, uh, so I don't know what it was. Um, found some interesting structures that was really cool, um, but all in all, it was just fantastic. It was gorgeous. Um, you know, Georgia's a different, uh, different uh, environment than what we're used to, so... Um, it was really nice hiking. It was just gorgeous. Uh, creek beds, you know, rippling creeks going through the woods and stuff like that. Fantastic. We had a great time. Um, had to cut it a little bit short due to inclement weather coming in, but uh, definitely worth the trip. Definitely worth the trip. Those guys are fantastic. They were great hosts. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we all in all had a, had a great time. Um, I'm, I'm sure... You know, I'm not speaking for Jimmy or Bobby, but I'm pretty sure they thought it was pretty gorgeous and had a great time themselves. Um, then, of course, last week I, I couldn't do anything. Uh, I already had a uh, trip planned to go fishing, so I was out of town last weekend. So back at it. Um, month, of May, month of May should be pretty productive, getting back out and doing what I'm doing. Um, but the uh, June 8th is the Ocala um, which is the Great Florida Bigfoot Conference in Ocala. I'm um, looking forward to that. Uh, me, Jimmy, and Bobby will be there. So if you guys, anybody's in, in the Florida area and wants to uh, go to that, um, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. A lot of researchers there. And um, we're just going to, you know, kind of take in as much as we can that weekend uh, may even may even do an investigation while we're up there in the Ocala area with some other groups so we'll see how that goes and hopefully that works out um, but other than that that's where we're caught up um, I'm in an area that um, I was looking at on the Bigfoot mapping project and there was a uh, not really a sighting but the guy had an encounter where he was fishing somewhere out here and a rock was thrown you know um, and you know hit the water he says the rock was roughly the size of a football you know probably a good five pound rock or something like that was thrown and uh, really spooked him and uh, so he did this report on the Bigfoot mapping project it's an older report but he just now recently put it on there because I know it wasn't on there before because I I'm pretty good about checking up on it and seeing, you know, what's out there and what's going on. Anything new and stuff like that. Um, I forget the date that it happened, but uh, um, so I'm out here investigating, checking it out, see if I find anything, hear anything, stuff like that. Um, but again, it's just great being out. It's just awesome. Beautiful weather, beautiful day. And I uh, want to get out here and, and investigate and stuff like that, so... 
Um, with that said, I'm going to get at it, get out there, start walking, start looking around. Hopefully we get something, you know what I mean? So, but uh, can't find anything from the couch. So had to get up this morning and get out here. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon and uh, God bless all you guys. I'll be right back. Um, I was working way down this trail. Not sure what it was. Uh, I caught it on. I caught it though. Um, so you you see that in the video. Um, but I was. I don't know what it was. It's either something broke brush or something threw something and it hit the brush. Um, very loud. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. And. Um, so as I was looking at it, investigating and checking it out, all of a sudden behind me was this, this like something, to me it's not something said hush, you know what I mean? 
and I spin around and um, I don't there I didn't see anything there but it was, you hear it clearly clearly in the, uh, the video where I'm looking at where the crash came from and then you hear this hush noise behind me don't know what it was um, could be deer um, or anything like that I know what it wasn't which was hogs um, that I know for sure but uh, it was uh, it was very exciting there for a minute so um, I, you'll definitely see that in this video um, yeah but then again it could be anything um, you know deer make a noise like that too but I don't I don't know why it would blow at me I'm not sure I mean, I'm on a trail I'm not causing any I'm not it's not like I'm in the woods breaking brush yet but uh, pretty exciting I had the adrenaline going there for a minute I like it so all right well back at it more investigation um, hopefully some other stuff happened I have to review the the video to see if I caught anything or not but with the eye you know when I turn around I'm filming but with the eye I'm looking and I didn't see anything, so, um, and the eye, the eye always catches movement over color. Always remember that. Something can sit there and not move, and you probably won't see it, um, because it'll blend in. But as soon as it moves, you'll pick it up. So the eyes always catch movement first. But I didn't see anything, so. All right. Back at it. <laughs> Just want to give you guys an update. It was pretty cool there for a second. This big game trail. This is. I circled around from where I heard that noise and uh, tried to get to the back side of it. See if there was something there. I might be able to cut it off. Tell you what though, after that noise, it got really quiet out here. Really quiet.
push back into this area. natural though some 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 are natural and it's been here for a while because you got growth coming off the top so not gonna lie I am on edge after that noise I mean it was crazy I mean you'll hear it in the video and like I said I was I was videotaping at the time, but I wasn't even paying attention to that area. And all of a sudden you hear this crash. Um, so I don't know if something got thrown or something ran into a palmetto or something. I don't know. Um, but it was a loud crash. And then as, I, as you see me pan towards it and walk towards that area to see if I can see whatever made that noise. I mean, literally right behind me. You hear this hush. That's the best I can describe it. I don't know. I'm not good at reenacting any sounds, but you'll hear it. You'll literally. I went back just a few minutes ago and reviewed um, the video. It's absolutely in there. So, um, but again, could be anything. Um, I'm not saying what it is or isn't. Don't know. Didn't see it. So, um, all I know is it's it's got me on alert. Got me on alert. So. This area is pretty cool. This is the, whatever it was that made the, it was too thick to go into the area where the crash was, but I'm playing on the theory that if something was thrown, it was to, to pull my attention in that direction. That's why I'm heading in the opposite direction where I heard the, the hush noise. Um, But anyways, um, so I went into the opposite direction because, you know, theory is that these things will try to pull you off in the direction you were going because they don't want you to go in that direction. So if, if, if they're here, then I'm probably pissing them off because I didn't fall for it. I don't know. So... It's like every time I record, there's a plane flying overhead. Ridiculous. So I'll show you this here. So just doing a big loop should end up close to or back to a trail at some point. Sometimes I wish I was alive. That way, if you guys see something, you can tell me. I can't see everything at all times. So. All right, I see a trail up there, so I must have circled all the way back around, so. 
All right, guys. Well, if anything else pops up, I'll be there. Johnny on the spot. Start filming right away. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks. All right, guys. So <clears throat> even out here, I got on the on the trail to uh, work further back and then get back into the woods and uh, ran into crazy. I ran into batshit crazy. So I'm coming out of the woods and I just step onto this trail and there's a guy literally um, yelling at the forest and at trees and shooting them the bird and dropping F-bombs left and right. That's all he was doing was yelling out in the open, just yelling at the trees and yelling at the, I don't know, man. I don't know if his ex-wife is Mother Nature or what, man, but he was pissed. And uh, then when I came out onto the main trail from the woods, he saw me and he just sat there staring at me. And as I walked by, he said, I'm just clumsy. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Clumsy, uh, I'm just Rick. <laughs> so, um, evidently, I'm not the only one out here. He didn't seem homeless or nothing like that. He just seemed, not that we, we don't have a homeless issue here um, at all. So, um, he's not transient or something like that. It looks like he was out for a hike and uh, no backpack, no nothing, just walking. But he was pissed off at the forest. I mean, he was dropping F-bombs left and right. I, mean, I thought I was back in the Navy. So, but, uh, yeah, definitely crazy. I don't know. That's why I wish I was alive. In case something happens to me, you guys can call 911. Uh, but I guarantee you I'm armed and he wasn't. So, I feel pretty confident with that. So, very crazy. All right. Just let me get back at it. I got to, I got to keep investigating. But. That was strange, very strange. Alright guys, well, I went back as far as I could before I got wore out. I never did find where the guy was fishing. Um, oh, sorry about that, the sun. It's hot. It's uh, very hot out. Um, we're back to Florida summer, 90 degrees, high humidity, heat index will probably be way up there. So I got to pace myself. Um, so heading back to the vehicle. Other than uh, that one incident, which I'll post of the uh, the crash and the the huff thing or whatever, which I'm glad I caught. I'm glad I was recording at that time. Um, I had just literally turned on the camera too. And then the crazy guy. I don't know what was up with that. He was pretty pissed off at something. Um, but I could have recorded it, but I didn't want to get sued down the line or something like that. YouTube's finicky. 
I literally, this is no crap guys. Uh, when I came back from Georgia, I put out one of the videos where I'm walking through this pine forest in Georgia. It's an area they call the, the Pine Barrens um, because most of it's all hardwoods, but there's this one section that's nothing but pines. So I'm walking through there, just checking out the area. That's it. It's a, it's a simple video. Just It was in the morning, got done eating breakfast, decided to go for a hike. Um, it was the last day there, so I went into this pine area. Um... I posted that video there's no music no nothing it's just again like this uh, me talking and showing the area and stuff like that i literally got a copyright ding from youtube for that video um they're allowing it to stay up but it's under review because get this this is why they copyrighted it, hit me on it was of the, all the nature sounds in the background the birds the frogs crickets whatever was going on in the video behind me natural natural stuff in the environment they dinged me on it because sony music entertainment puts out nature sounds on cd or whatever on youtube and that's monetized they, they make money off those videos and uh, where you just if you want to go to bed at night and listen to crickets it's sony music entertainment owns that video and so they are claiming that in my video i'm using their nature sounds in the background but it's pretty evident i'm walking in the friggin woods so i filed a um they give you an opportunity to file back or whatever you know so sony music entertainment's got 30 days to respond to me but i thought that was kind of ridiculous where just like i'm doing right now i'm in nature you're gonna hear birds you're gonna hear crickets you're gonna hear frogs you're gonna hear things and then some big conglomerate like Sony Music is going to claim rights to that. So, just so you know, YouTube is is weird like that. So, it's almost to the point where anybody can file a copyright against you. So, but with that said, um, I am heading back to the vehicle now. It's going to take me a few minutes to find my way out of here. Um, got a compass, so I'm, I'm good to go. I get this a lot. Everybody's asking me what this thing is on my shoulder. Okay. It's not a camera. It's a flashlight. And that's all it is. Um, it's just a flashlight. It's an emergency flashlight. It's extremely bright. And uh, in case I get lost in the woods, I can turn that on at night. And if somebody's looking for me, they'll see it flashing. That's all it is. Um, and it has red, amber, and white, depending on what color I want to put it on. So, um inexpensive $11 I think on Amazon but I use it as a, an emergency in case I get stuck out in the woods at night and can't find my way out um, and if somebody's out looking for me they can find me all right guys well I'm gonna head back um, like I said oh it's a buzzard um, heading back um, not a whole lot happened today. Um, like again, I did not find an area that the the guy had put on the map of where his his thing was. I thought I could get to it from this side, but evidently I got to find another way to get to that area. Um, there is a road near there, so I just didn't want to take that road and park on the side of the road and work my way in from there. Um, I might have to, so we'll plan that as a part two investigation. So, but uh, again. I want to thank you guys. I have the greatest subscribers in the world. You guys are awesome. Um, you send me emails and, and you guys are pretty supportive. I want to thank you again for helping me um, support some of the podcasts that I feel are um, worthy of supporting. Uh, they're good people. Uh, again, um, Sasquatch Encounter Brigade. Uh, matter of fact, um, he's on today. Um, hopefully I can get this video out in enough time that people see it and, and, and we'll... Uh, um, watch it, but he'll be on uh, Dirt Road Bigfoot, which is another podcast that I 100% uh, um, you know support him. Uh, he's doing a great job. Um, not so perfect uh, Bigfoot show. Um, Vicky, she's doing an outstanding job. I'm very proud of her. She's doing really well. Uh, you know, keep keep supporting her. Um, let's see what else. Um, Woodwalkers was. Uh, Spencer Jameson, that's that's always a good show to watch. They're on Sundays. 
I think at 2, 2.30 in the afternoon on Sundays. Um, and it's more laid back, chilling. You never know what they're going to talk about, which makes it interesting. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Sasquatch Encounter Brigade. Not So Perfect Big Quick Show. Dirt Road Bigfoot and uh, Woodwalkers. So check them out. Um, so, all right. I'm out of here. I got to get something to drink. Pretty hot out right now. Um, been out for about three hours. Didn't find a whole lot, but I definitely come back to this area. Definitely. So I'll talk to you guys later. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support.